have not. What are you doing here? I didn't see your broom parked outside. He knows about Derek. He is pissed, Candace. You are a beautiful woman. I would kick myself if I didn't ask you. Yes, we were. I'm not buying your house. Yes, you are. One way or another, you are. Do you just let it go like that? As bad as it was, I wouldn't be here. What are you gonna do? You're not scared, are you? What the hell is this? You can stay with that girl, but you can come with me and let me upgrade you. <sighs> All right, have and have not fans, that was the end credit trailer for next week's episode, which is the season seven finale, episode 20, entitled The Reaping. It's going to be airing next Tuesday, October 27th. The synopsis, Veronica does whatever it takes to get what she wants. Now, before moving forward in the video, you should know by now, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to get to... This is the finale trailer. Let's try to get to 200 likes on this video. Also, we're closing in on 150,000 subscribers. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, click the bell notification icon, select all, and allow all notifications to go out. That way, when I post content or do live streams, you know when I make it available for you. And also, if you are just a person that kind of tunes into this channel every now and then, Again, hit subscribe due to the fact that the finale is coming up. It's going to be a big week next week. So let's make sure we're all here to get the information as it leaks out. And like before, once the full trailer is released, the one that came on right after the episode aired, I'll be more than happy to do a follow-up breakdown because I do believe there are certain things in that trailer that were not in the end credit trailer. So uh, jumping into this, once again, this episode is called The Reaping. Veronica does whatever it takes to get what she wants. And to be honest, yeah, uh, she's in a multiple scenes this episode. So it looks like Veronica's going on like um, a scavenger hunt of sorts. I mean, it looks like she's going to be popping in at every location that Jeffrey... Jeffrey's lovers are at it looks like first she's going to be over at Madison's house or apartment and there's Colby there then she's going to be popping up at Justin's place and he and Tanner are there so here we go Veron okay this is the funniest part remember this episode okay they did the reshoot so this particular scene could have been filmed in either 2019 or 2018 but the fact that Veronica is walking into Madison's place with a mask on has me rolling just because of the fact of that's what we're doing now in current day and even though it's not funny given the circumstances go back to if loving you was wrong where larry was saying i can't feel my i can't breathe it's like yep george floyd but remember that episode was filmed in 2018 i believe but uh, more to the point veronica put a mask on because i'm thinking she probably is saying, you know, I don't want to catch the gay or whatever. I mean, this is Veronica. Look who we're, look who we're talking to here. But in any case, uh, she asked Colby what he's doing there. He's like, mm, I didn't see your broom parked outside. So, yeah, this is definitely Madison's place. So she must be either looking for Jeffrey or threatening those who, you know, she knows he's affiliated with. So we also have uh, Veronica popping up, like I mentioned before, over at Justin's place. And Tanner's like, who the hell is this? Because he's like, Wait, what are you going to do? You're not scared, are you? So, again, Veronica's probably just going... She she has a hit list, more or less. That's the that's the best way to put it. Um, I don't think she's going to kill Colby, though. Unless she got... Unless she packing, I don't know. Uh, then we have, let's see... At the end of the trailer, we got Veronica and Samuel. It looks like she's talking with Samuel. So, I'm guessing that... She comes up with an asinine excuse to call him back over to the house because we know in the trailer that aired after the episode, Laura and Samuel are at home. So he probably gets a late night call to come over there for some bull crap. Kind of like, you know, Derek in the episode, The Broken Washer, I think was the title where Veronica tells Derek to come over in the middle of the night and then she tries to get it on with him, but he brushes her off. In this situation, you know, Laura's probably going to be suspicious. So Samuel's going to go over there. And then she's like, you could stay with uh, that girl in reference to Laura, or you can let me upgrade you. And then they get it on. And Veronica, in classic style, got the red bottoms on. So that's kind of interesting. She has red bottoms on in this finale. I'm not saying that she hasn't worn red bottoms throughout this season. I'm pretty sure she has. I just don't remember. But I think it's an interesting nod because the shoes for Veronica have kind of always been a staple of her character to an extent. Like, remember in the episode... 
Show Not Tell, which was the season six finale, um, when she thought that David and Jeffrey had been killed when there was a shootout in the house, she dropped the cigarette butt and then we got a close up on when she stomps on it and then leaves. So I just think that's an interesting nod to continuity about the Veronica shoot thing. But then again, going back to continuity, remember when we thought, and I'm not saying it's not impossible, but remember when we thought, ooh, look at the close up on the cigarette butt. Maybe that's going to be used as evidence because her DNA is on it. Um, it's almost been an entire season and yet there's been no reference to the shootout. I mean, David's house is still pretty banged up. I remember there was a point in time, I believe where, um, a construction crew was in there or a renovating crew was in there trying to fix everything, but there's still holes and everything in the wall, but whatever. Okay. So that's the end of the Veronica scenes. Um, going on, we have, uh, going back, sorry, going back to the episode other than Veronica, Al's telling Hannah how beautiful she is. Like, I'd kick myself if I didn't ask you. Ask me what? In the other trailer, I think he says something about, you know, how about I stay tonight or something like that. And we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. But here's my thing with that. Al, Al told Hannah that, oh, yeah, I got lunch coming up soon so I can come over and uh, help you out for a little bit. But it's now the middle of the night. So did Al just not go back to work or was his schedule clear for the rest of the day or... Did, you know, I mean, I don't, maybe he called the office to say, hey, I want to be out for the rest of the day. I have a, um, you know, a, um, a client that I'm working with. So it's just those little things that I wish were kind of um, told to us as opposed to speculating or because, you know, it's like, oh, it's no big deal, Jeremy, just let it go. And fans can let it go too. But I'm just a stickler for that kind of thing because he literally told Hannah over the phone, I got lunch, I can stop by for a little bit. But he just never apparently went back to work. I don't know. But like I said, maybe he just made a phone call and was able to clear his schedule. And not to mention, it is like pretty late. So, I mean, when's Hannah supposed to meet up with um, Don and John? Remember, they were supposed to have a meeting that night, but I don't know. And and Hannah doesn't, and I'm not saying anything against Hannah because I can understand. That's a lot of responsibility and a lot to learn. And I applaud her for, you know, trucking forward in that, but... I don't think she fully has a grasp on it enough to, you know, have Don and John. Hell of anything. Well, maybe because it is sensitive matters in regards to the crier estate, Al isn't able to be there with Hannah to assist her. So I guess that makes sense, but I, I don't know. So um, Alyssa and David are in bed together and David's like, I'm not buying you a house. He's like, oh, one way or another, you will. And it's like, she's literally asking to die. I mean, given the fact that in the trailer, we do see her like screaming when she runs out of a room. I'm wondering if Veronica pops up. I don't. Well, no, I mean, well, Veronica, if she does pop up, you would think Leo would stop her. But then again, I don't know. I don't dislike Leo. I just think that number one, David should have one, more than one guard. Number two, does this dude, just, is there a rotating staff we don't know about? You know, I, you know what? I'm not even going to overthink it, but going back to the David and Alyssa thing, which I think I'm, I'm recording this video before my episode review of last night. So all I got to say is I still think it was a mistake to have David go home. Alyssa's there. She goes down on him. Then we see David at the hospital with Jim. Then we see David at the police station where he gets shot down by Cameron and or yeah, Cameron. And now apparently he gets back home and now they're in bed together. So in the next episode, if we don't see David get back home and Alyssa's still there, that makes no sense. Because to me, I'm I'm not thinking that David would allow Alyssa to stay in his house while he goes out to run Jim errands. I don't know, but Whatever. So here we go to another scene. Mitch is calling Candace about Benny knowing the truth about Derek and that he's pissed. And then later on in the episode, we have uh, Benny and Candace going head to head. Benny once again. So what? What? what, what you just going to let this go? And she's like, look, whatever happened between Derek and Hannah, I wouldn't be here without it happening. So that's the end of the trailer. So with that being said, guys. That was the end credit trailer for next week's finale, The Reaping. Um, I I don't know. Like, I know the other big question people ask me, Jeremy, what's the surprise announcement? I will do a separate video on it. I just posted a poll on the community tab to see what other people might want to chime in with. I mean, 
Could it be season eight, which was already filmed last year with reshoots? Look, season eight is done. Don't worry about it. The back half of what was the back half of season eight is going to be what should have been airing now. The back half of season seven. And then they did reshoots for the first part of season eight. So season eight's in the books. The only thing that hasn't been filmed is season nine, which they did announce there was going to be a season nine. But there hasn't been any kind of confirmation of filming. And yes, even before the pandemic, it was announced there was a season nine. But I honestly don't know. I'm kind of over it. Like if you watch my live stream last night, you know, the episode discussion for Father's Day, then you'll know that I'm just I'm I got a rocky relationship with this show now. I feel like a lot of people do because it, it it's just not good as it used to be. And good is not even a word I don't think I would use to describe it currently. But uh, I mean, is the show being on DVD? Is the show moving to BET or is it airing on Hulu? Will season eight air quicker than six months? I, I, I don't care. I mean, we'll find out soon enough. And I'm not even going to ask anyone like, I, you know, I got like these cast members I could ask, but they probably don't even know what's going on. But I, I just feel like I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Like, I swear to you, I have no flipping idea what's going on. I just know that my curiosity for the announcement is outranking any excitement for the finale, because at the rate we're going, I don't think anyone is going to die. And even if anyone does die, it is not going to save this season because even after last night's episode, this is still easily the worst season of the haves and the have nots that has ever aired. Yes, season five, where the first 10 episodes were trash aside from two or three of them. Season five did make up for it in the back. The, after that halftime, a.k.a. the hiatus, season five came in swinging. Season six, only like what, nine episodes. It was a pretty strong uh, season for what it was. Season seven. Lord have mercy. All right, I'm done. I'm done. So with that being said, guys, like I always say, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, follow me on social media and like the video. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App or join Patreon for as little as one dollar a month.